I'm Skyler. If you notice that your iPod's a little bit laggy, my first recommendation is to shut it down. I'm going to hold my sleep-wake button until I see the red slider pop up that says slide to power off. Just whoop, like that. This is a good thing to do on a regular basis because it frees up any sort of memory that had been locked up in various system processes. Uh, it does a lot of maintenance. It's uh, really one of the more important things that you can do with any iOS device. It's a lot like you going to sleep. If you stay awake for a really long period of time, eventually you're going to start to function a lot less effectively. I'm going to turn it back on and let it boot up. While it's booting up, it makes sure everything is clean. It gets itself into the right mood for the day. Think of it like uh, waking up and doing a bunch of push-ups or meditating, you know, a similar thing. So once it boots up, what I want to do is take a good look at everything that's running in the background. Because iOS, when you leave an app, leaves that app running in a suspended state when it doesn't take up much system resources and is immediately accessible for you if you want to switch over to it. Slide to unlock. Double click your home button. Here you can see in the multitasking tray all the applications you're running. Certain applications, like maps, can take up a small amount of your resources when they're in the background. So what I'm going to do is rest my finger on it and then start tapping these circles in order to quit the applications. Technically, this is force quitting an application and isn't the best thing to do all the time, but it's really not going to damage too much. So if you do notice performance issues, I recommend doing those steps I just laid out. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.